Hi, I'm Louis Palou. I'm a documentary photographer and a Pulitzer grantee, and I'm working on a project on the Arctic. This project is about Arctic security, and it's about the changing uh, role of the military in the Arctic in the face of climate change. In my project, I focus on the North American Arctic, which is the United States, Alaska, Canada, and Greenland, which is a part of Europe. There are several countries that border the Arctic or have territory in the Arctic, and different countries are starting to lay claim via sort of a, a claim through a continental shelf under the water that this, this piece of the Arctic is theirs or this piece of Arctic should extend into their territory and belong to them. And these have a lot of economic and geopolitical uh, ramifications. What's really important to understand about the Arctic is in many ways, as much as the, there are treaties uh, that cover the Arctic, uh, the Gar Arctic in many ways through infrastructure is kind of ungoverned. Very few people or, or boats or planes actually travel through the Arctic, relatively speaking to its size. So it's a place that is mostly ungoverned, say compared to say a city like Washington DC. And now we're, we're imagining a future where there are gonna be a lot more activity and, there. And so who governs that? What are the, who, whose laws are enforced in this part of the Arctic versus that part of the Arctic? And the tension points are who gets to use that ocean for whatever purposes they deem food production, sailing, shipping. And I think that it's important to understand that uh, as the world shrinks, as the population grows, the need for resources, especially food, gets higher, oil, mining. And so what happens is it creates a number of tension points like there are in a lot of other places where there's conflict right now. And with more human activity come more potentials for accidents, uh, sort of geopolitical when I say geopolitical, like countries protecting their geography and their waters and their shipping lanes. There's going to be more people traveling, so there's going to be more airplanes, more airports. And with human activity come more accidents, you know, possible oil leaks, ship disasters, countries going into other countries' waters when they shouldn't be. We're seeing a lot of catastrophic effects from climate change, but I think what we're seeing in the Arctic is the fastest changing environment from climate change. I mean, we're looking at an area that in recorded history has always been frozen and now won't be. We're talking rising water levels in other places. And I mean, we don't know what's gonna to happen to the land up in the Arctic. There's a lot of erosion due to uh, permafrost damage uh, or melting. In the Arctic, you have, a, especially in the Canadian Arctic, you have a number of uh, Inuit, mostly indigenous communities. And uh, these communities are some of the people who will be the most affected by all this human activity that is slowly making its way and eventually will be moving through or operating within the Arctic. We all don't know what's gonna happen in the Arctic. It's, it's the great unknown. And I think that all the countries that are using their military to sort of uh, poise themselves for the coming future are also preparing for the unknown. But I think what's important is we start talking about it now because this is a place that is very fragile and the more it is damaged and destroyed, the more we all suffer from it.